Good morning. I start with a question, and I thought, can anyone tell me what this is? What type of box? Good. I think we got the first point right. So um, I didn't really know how to approach my uh, talk to start with, so I thought I would bring a friend. So Black Box and I have been friends for almost 16 years, from the very beginning of my university time to my time in the United States, from aerospace to automotive. And for those of you, well, that don't really uh, know, they're not very exposed to software engineering. My job is, a, and my, uh, my main job is uh, software testing. And one of the technical terms in software testing is black box testing. So you have your own system, your black box, you st stimulate it with whatever input, and you just look at the output. And, um, but you have no idea, you cannot, uh, the rule of the game is that you have no idea what's inside. And sometimes, there's something else. People um, think that since I've been working with the, um, with highly technological objects, helicopters, and sports cars, that uh, innovation is right there, ready for me to access it, live in it, and actually, it is true. So uh, today, I want to take you on this journey to show you what is inside that box and uh, to take you to the other side of the, on, all the way to the, uh, the pot of gold. So first of all, let me tell you what innovation is. Uh, it might be obvious to you, but innovation is basically the concept of introducing anything new. It could be a process. It could be a new system, it could be a new product, it could be anything, actually. But um, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really come uh, like a light bulb moment. You don't really wake up, have your coffee, and there your innovation. It doesn't work like that. So usually innovation comes uh, whenever you have different elements that together, they just join to each other smoothly, and, uh, and then you can turn on the light. So. Um, I used to I used this uh, analogy of the four pillars of um, innovation, and I used them as a team, the workplace, the product, and the method itself. And let me call these uh, four elements the rainbow of innovation. If this is still not very clear to you, just a bit up in the air concept, let me use a, a graphical example. I love art. And um, I love Monet. Uh, Monet, together with the other Impressionists, basically change art. And the, there is a reason why we still enjoy their exhibitions. They, we just go to the, their painting. We might have their background on our, on our uh, phone. Because in the end, they were innovative. Uh, but let's see if the four elements that actually work with Monet and the Impressionists. First of all, the team. Well, Monet was, is one of those. But I'm sure you might know Manet, Renoir, Cezanne, Van Gogh. And the workplace. Well, they used to hang around Paris. Paris was the place to be to, to basically run this revolution around painting. The, the product. The product was, imagine that you, you have one day and you paint about the king, the queen, a very static uh, element. And then one, the, the next day, you just look at your, your, your work of art is just a glimpse, like an impression. And the impression will change every day. You look at the same scene, it will be, always be different. And the method, well, you look from the uh, Renaissance painters, and then you look at Monet, and the actual technique is completely different. You go with uh, thick brushes, um, very, at the first uh, sight, very uh, imprecise, but they delivered this impression. So how does all this mean? What, do, what does it mean? What can you take back home? Uh, I'm sure you will not just go and around and paint uh, uh, Westminster. You will not go to Paris. 
but you can surely find the elements of the rainbow every time you go and do your things, you live your life. So I would just go together with, to, I would just go back to the four pillars. So the first pillar, the team, and I will describe to you uh, the four pillars through four stories, personal stories. So the first pillar, the team, I call it the yellow pillar, my favorite color. So then the story around the, 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 the team pillar is that goes back to my mentoring time. Here I am uh, going, I had the amazing opportunity to be mentored at work and I wanted to become a better manager. And so I go like, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to learn how to uh, deal with people. And then I have my, my mentor in front of me, just he grabbed uh, a pen and drew this rectangle on a piece of paper and he asked me, who do you think you are in this rectangle? I'm like, hmm, I don't know. So I'm not going to take you on the six month mentoring uh, today, but um, like a, a summary, is he said, the rectangle is a typical and easy way uh, to describe a team. You might have the extroverted people at the corner. They are ready for a change. They look for a change. They have, you have the introverted people right in the middle. They are just comfortable and without external noise. And then you have the team manager that actually his, his or her own role is to grab the corners, make them bigger, bigger, and bigger. So uh, you hear very often this idea of uh, thinking outside of the box. You need to design your box before you get outside. Second pillar, the workplace, the blue um, pillar. Um, the story behind this is just my one day at work for me. So every day um, I go for lunch, like nothing crazy about this, nothing special, but the, I'm lucky that every time I go for lunch, I walk by the, the trophies. So um, nothing, not, it, not every day you, you have everything amazing at work. Something might go wrong, you might have blocking points here and there, but it's constantly good to just go back and remember what you have done well, what you celebrate, how you won in the past, in the present, and then if you pick on the habit, what happens in the future. Before I even go for lunch, I need to get to work. So then um, the other element that is beautiful is the way I go from my, the, the, the cycle rack to my desk. It's a completely wide uh, corridor. And it's amazing how that uh, structure allows me to just leave behind all the stress, all the um, anger, all the bad feelings that I had before work and allow me to concentrate and ready to go to perform at my desk to do hopefully good cars in my case, but it could be anything. The third pillar, the product, so I call it the, the, the red pillar. Another story, so like my job as a software tester is just to, I'm imagining that I'm sitting there in front of my test bench and cover surrounded by wires and stuff. My job is to find bugs in the software and potentially could be really boring. So um, I had to find the beauty behind what I do every day. So, um, and so I, I was looking for my inspiration. One day I've been discussing at the coffee machine and the, I've been told that our vehicles are inspired by animals. I'm like, oh wow, that's cool. And, and so, so then I was looking, so where is the shark? Where is the animal? What am I looking for? And so since that point on, uh, every time I look at the car and every time there is a new product coming into the pipeline, I'm just dreaming about the, the new animal. That's what I do. The, like you can see it in a front light. You can see it anywhere else. You can see it in the profile of the car. Um, it's just beautiful. You, it just creates that uh, element of um, excitement for some, what is coming next. The four pillar, the method. So like uh, I ran out of primary colors, so I just use purple as a good combination of the blue and the red and a complementary color for, compared to the first uh, pillar. And um, the story, story behind the method is about passion. 
So every single product, every single business goes through the same a similar process from the very beginning to the delivery of the product. You just can break it down in micro phases, the very initial phase, the concept. Then you need to grab that idea, bring it down to something real. And then in the amazing world, in the idea world, everything works perfectly. It's not really the case. So you need to then start to fix the problems and test, 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 test. So my job is in the last part, and my passion is in there. So I do not function whenever I need to come up with a new conceptual uh, part. I do like to have the broken puzzle, put it together. So how does that uh, apply to me? It's like at work, here I am again, in front of the same uh, test environment. And one day I had to create to build this automatic uh, driving scenario that then my computer will do themselves. So I, ran, I went around the company and I asked one single question. If you go to your car, what would be the very first thing that you do? People told me all different things. They would pair their phone, they would turn on the radio, they would rev the engine. And this lady, that was amazing, she said that the very first thing that she would, she would do is to check, to, to check her makeup in the rear view mirror. I'm like, hmm, OK, awesome. So then uh, I completely, that completely turned inside out what I would do and how I would design my testing. And so from that point on, I, every time I just do my daily work, I just apply my passion to what the customer, the, everyone would do, would use the product. So this is. I, I close it here. So, uh, so what I want, what I wish for you to just go home and do is just to look for your makeup story, find your cheetahs and find your sharks, um, build your trophies and uh, design your white tunnel, and most importantly, look for your box. So before I go, I just wanted to show you what's inside my little friend. Rainbows. So my wish for you is that from today onwards, whenever there will be a rainbow in the sky, you will look at it from a different perspective. Thank you.